Dear friend, we are living in the end of times. The scripture reveals that there is only one God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 20 verse 3 clearly states and commands us, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Jehovah, the one true God, spoke, and He had given all authority to His Son, Jesus Christ. When He spoke from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, Let us make man in our image. The scripture declares that there is one God in Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The King James Version Bible, which has been attacked for more than 300 years, reveals this glorious and sublime truth to all English speaking world today. And also the prophet declares in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 2, there is none like God. If you go to the New Testament, friends, if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6, the apostles believe that there is but one God for them, and He has a Son, Jesus Christ, whom the Father gave all authority and power, as recorded in Matthew 28, verses 18, 19 to 20. And the Spirit of Christ is going to be with His disciples in this last days. Furthermore, the book of Revelation declares Jesus as the true Son of God, as the Messiah that the world has been, has rejected. John 17 verse 3 audaciously said, Jesus was quoted, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. And throughout the chapter of John 17, the Father and the Son revealed they are one, two distinct personality, the one true God and His Son, Jesus Christ, whom He has given the names, Everlasting Father, Wonderful Counselor, a Mighty Prince, the Prince of Peace. And so Jesus Christ, indeed, my friends, revealed to us that God is love by His perfect obedience to the commandments of God. So today, as we are preparing and readying ourselves for the final great conflict, may we remember that our victory is found in the Son of the living God, if we know Him and if we believe in him for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so friends today I do pray and uh, ask the Spirit of the Lord to guide you to search for the scriptures and to find this um, revelation from the Word of God the Father gave His only Son from His bosom, from His heart, so that you and I may know Him, the only true God. And so today, may we all rejoice in this knowledge of Him. May God continue to bless you and keep you. This is my prayer.